Welp, the results are in. Louisville has done destroyed themselves and lost to the old Miami Hurricanes. So, game recap here. Miami's offense, pretty good. Louisville's defense, pretty bad. I mean, as in pretty bad, I mean, good lord. I mean, atrocious play on defense. Now, Louisville's offense, they played pretty they played a pretty good game, but Miami played a better one. Those turnovers that Louisville had were are, are pretty much what lo screwed Louisville in this game. There is no, nothing else that could have really screwed themselves other than that. This had potential to be one of the best games all season so far. And it was turning into that, but just the, the, those turnovers are basically what screwed you guys. And in the end, um, yeah, I guess that's why Miami won. Zero turnovers all day today. And I said this week too, uh, last week, that De'Eric King is a good, he is a good quarterback. And today he looked way... He, he looked way better than he did last week, and that's saying a lot because he looked pretty good last week too, but he threw the ball really, really good this week. And if this keeps up, Miami could be a pretty good team this year. Who knows? Maybe second in the ACC. Talking to you, Notre Dame. All right, enough of that. Either way, um, that, that pretty much wraps things up for the ACC. There is one thing, though, that I must point out. Where is it? Where is it? Ah, uh, yes. NC State versus Wake Forest is still going on, and that's actually turning out to be a pretty good game. I'll, I'll have coverage on that probably on Twitter, and probably I'll just sum up my thoughts on there. I, there's no point covering it in a video. I only cover the mainstream games in a video or something like that. Which is good news for that is... All through next week, we are getting a crap ton of good games, especially since the SEC is finally coming in, which means that my Vols are going to be playing. South Carolina, I'm going to have a video coming up for you all very shortly. Y'all stay tuned for that. Anyway, the Canes, I believe, are now 2-0 or 3-0. I'm not entirely sure. And... That pretty much sums up the entirety of this week. I think that ju that just about does it with college football for the week. But next week, though, of course, we're getting into the good stuff. I will definitely have a Squid Tar podcast for week four. I'm sorry I missed out on week three. I was trying to manage a lot of that, and I just wasn't able to get it done in time. But for week four, I will have a Squid Tar podcast done, and I will have it done early this week. So if anybody is willing to... Be in this episode of the Squid Tarb Podcast. Message me at theomegaogre at gmail.com and I'll see if I can put you in. So, yeah. I mean, the Squid Tarb Podcast, it's an open invite thing. And I think that just pretty much sums up all of my coverage on this game and, and more. So, I will see you all next week with more coverage of this game. I'll have more videos out in between. Go check out my uh, my, uh, my main channel, Squid Tard, if you're into the meme content. But if you're into sports, just stick around here. And, yeah. Oh, and what about the Tardarian playoffs? Team number nine, coming up soon. Power to Tardaria. Beep, beep, beep.